Welcome to the Family Review Show. Today I'm going to show you how to safely download Minecraft mods on your computer. So whether this is for your own world or you're trying to get on to play on one of our survival servers, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to open up our Java version of Minecraft. And your screen might look a little bit different than mine. You might have a little drop down arrow here on the side of the play button. Ours is down here. Um, but what you have to do is decide what version of Minecraft you want to play your mods on. We prefer the 1.12.2. We think it's got the best mods, so that's the one that we've chosen. Uh, however, you might have a different preference, and that's okay. Um, but one thing you have to do is if you haven't played that version of Minecraft on your computer, you do have to let it run through your computer once before you install the mods. So, for instance, if you were going to pick the 1.12.2, either because you liked it or you want to play on one of our servers, um, you go to the bottom left, and you might have it in here. You might not. If it's not in your drop-down, um, which ours is not, you have to go to Installations, and then click on New. And you're going to look for that version in the, in the top right here. So, I would look for 1.2.2. So I gotta scroll down, and there it is, release 1.12.2, and you can give it a, a different name if you want. Um, you know, you just call it like 1.12.2, or if you have a different name, that's fine. And click create, and you'll see it popped up at the bottom here. And now I'm gonna press press play. All right, so you'll see that um, now it's playing, it's loading up. It might take a minute or so, especially if you've never played that version before. Um, so let's let that load up. And once it loads, you are actually all set. You don't have to go in and play. You just have to let it load through your computer once. Again, this is kind of an optional step. We didn't have to do it when we installed, but we've heard a lot of our fans have had issues. And then when they went and did this, it fixed it. So um, I would recommend just doing it before you get started. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do an internet search for Forge. It's F-O-R-G-E. Click enter. You can see it was the top thing for me. And again, you'll see on the left side here all the different Minecraft versions. By this point, you've already decided which one that you want. Um, so you'll see ours is 1.12.2 on the side. And you get two different options. Uh, one would be the latest and one is the recommended. I always go with the recommended. Sometimes the latest are a little buggy, especially if you do one of the recent ones, like the 1.14s. Um, so again, it's... I would err on the side of caution and go with Windows Installer for Download Recommended. It's also really important, sometimes you'll get ads that look very similar to a download button. This is the one you want right here. You don't want to click on anything under here, over on the sides, or on the top. It's this one right here, Windows Installer. And I'll just save mine to the desktop. It's up to you where you want to save your version. And it might take a minute or two to load, but once it's loaded, you can open up the file. See mine is right here. Um, and then this screen here will pop up. You're going to want to click on install client. Ignore these other two for now. Uh, and then press OK. And now comes the fun part where you get to decide which mod you want to use. Now we have a couple different sites that we use that we've always had good luck with. So the first one is planetminecraft.com. Uh, this is one of my favorites because you can choose which version you want. Uh, and again, you'll see in the drop down, ours is the one point. 1.2.2 um, and then you can sort by categories by you can sort by types um, and then you can sort by time so if you want something really recent or if you want to go back and find something and then you can just kind of scroll through and find one that you like uh, another website that I like is 9minecraft.net as well as minecraftforum.net so they're all pretty good choices. There's tons of mods out there. So between those three, uh, there are like thousands of options to choose from. But there are a lot of other websites. Just be very careful that you're downloading something that is reputable and you know doesn't have a virus. So to play on one of our servers, you'll need the Lycanites Mobs mod. Um, so this is one I found on 9minecraft.net. And you can scroll down. You'll see some screenshots. There's information about the mod. And when you scroll all the way to the bottom through all the thumbnails, there's going to be lots of different options. Um, so this tells you that uh, you need Minecraft Forge, which we've already downloaded. And then you have to find the version of Minecraft that you are running. So 
for us, it's Minecraft 1.2.2. So we'll click on download from server two. And again, it's really important that your screen could look very different. And sometimes they put ads that look like download buttons. So you're not gonna click anything with like one of these things that say add choices to the top right hand corner. That is, that is a good way to get a virus. Um, you don't want any of that stuff. So you're gonna click on this big box here that says download. There is a chance that when you click on one of the links, it's gonna try to automatically start downloading. So when I click on download from server one, you'll see it opens up the save as box right away. Um, so I'm just gonna save this onto my desktop for now. I recommend you create a folder somewhere that you put these in. Um, so we'll save. Now I already have it downloaded, uh, but you would just click save and it would download on your desktop. So you'll see here my desktop, it downloaded this .jar file. So we need to move this into our mods folder. So in the bottom left corner on Windows, you're gonna type percentage app, A-P-P, data, D-A-T-A, -A, percentage. So it's app data percentage. And when you click enter, it's going to open up a folder. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the one that says Minecraft. And then you're gonna look for a folder that says mods. Now, there is a chance that your computer won't have a mods folder. If it doesn't, that's okay. You can just right click in the open uh, area here, go to new, and you're just gonna make a new folder And you're gonna call it mods, M-O-D-S. Now I won't do it because I already have one. And then you're just going to click and drag your file that says like a night mobs into your mods folder. You can see mine's already there, so I won't do it again. Uh, but you'll put it in there and then you've loaded your first mod. So then you're gonna relaunch Minecraft again. And this time in the bottom left corner, you're gonna see something that says, unnamed installation 1.12.2 Forge. Click on that. You can also see it if you click on the installations tab up top, you'll see unnamed installation and you'll see it says 1.12.2 Forge. Obviously yours will be different if you downloaded a different version. And then you're gonna click play. And you'll see this hammer and anvil in the bottom right corner um, so that's how you know it's installing your mod. Now, if you don't see that, something has gone wrong and you just wanna retrace your steps. It is also possible that if you load lots of different mods, some of the mods might be corrupt or might not be working. In that case, go back into your mods folder and I would take them out and just start one by one. Just put one in first, and then if that loads, you know that's okay. Then try another one. If the next one loads, then you know that's okay. Try another one. So one of the things that I found helpful is if you're gonna be doing this a lot, if you click on the mods folder and then right click, you can select pin to quick access and that will put it over on the left corner or you can pin to start uh, just so you don't have to type in that percentage, app data percentage every time. And now on your screen, you'll see there's a box that says mods. If you click on that, it will show you on the left side which mods you have running. Um, so you can click on it and it gives you more information. You can also, in the bottom left here, you can disable them. And now let's test out our mods. So we're gonna go into single player. We'll create a new world. We'll go into creative just so we can make sure it works. Okay, so now our Minecraft world has loaded. And if we press E, we'll see this is uh, page one of two. If you click on the arrow over, you'll see there are some different tabs up here. So we've got the Lycanites mobs, items, blocks, creatures, and parts. So uh, we'll click one of the creatures here and then we'll spawn it and boom, there we go. So you'll see it actually worked. Now, if you're trying to get onto one of our servers to play, if you click on multiplayer, so then you'll go to where it says add server and the server name is family review show. 
And the server address is frs.mcpro.co because our server is hosted on MC Pro Hosting, a proud partner of the Family Review Show. Then click on Done. And you'll see it's all the way at the bottom here. Now I'm gonna bring it to the top because it's my favorite server that I play on all the time. So there's just a little arrow on the left here that allow me to push it up. Once you've got it to the top, click on the play button and it will load up our world. And now you're in our server, which will be a survival server that everybody can play in. And you'll see the mobs already in here, running around, terrorizing the villagers. Um, so that is how you install mods. That's how you get onto our server. So if this didn't work and you encountered an error along the way, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. You can reach out to us on Twitter at Fam Review Show, or the best way is to probably join our Discord server. There's a link in the description. I'll also put it up top here. Um, join our Discord, send me a message, and I'm more than happy to walk you through this. If you did find this helpful, please make sure you give this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button so you never miss another one of our videos ever again. And for those of you who did just subscribe, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for subscribing. Again, reach out to us with any questions, problems. Let us know what mods you liked. And as always, we will see you next time. Bye.